What's going on guys, Matt right here, Lethal Garage, and today we are gonna install the ZL1 add-ons dive planes for the Camaro SS. Now this will fit any SS 16, 17, 18. Uh, they're a custom design by the man, like he's just walking around cruising, John Jones, owner of ZL1 add-ons. Uh, and it's something that's become popular from the ZL1 1LE. Now if you guys haven't seen these on a ZL1 1LE, let's just, uh, here I'm gonna like, I'm gonna genie, I'm just gonna snap. Okay. So as you guys know, the dive planes, came on the 6th gen ZL1 1LE, and that's where all the love is coming. Now, I'm just gonna be straight up honest. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of the way it looks for my personal car, but I think for a lot of cars it looks amazing. So uh, in that, they're nice. GM did a really good job. It's all functional, it all works, and uh, they're clean. Now, the only difference between John's design and GM's is this one has a little winglet on the side. Uh, and I don't think anybody is making aftermarket versions with a wing lid on there, but <clears throat> it's a pretty good carryover from the design of this to the SS that fits. It's a direct bolt on part. You don't have to really do any modifications to your car whatsoever, uh, but let's go ahead, go jump on in, see what this looks like on the SS, do an install, make it look great. And before we jump to the install, I do want to highlight, John has let me know he is working on these for the fifth gen cars and the stock are the six gen ZL1 and a whole bunch of other cars. So if you guys drive a Mustang or other stuff, he's looking at all that stuff because uh, it's, a, it's a cool thing to have and they're functional. So check them out, but install time, let's do it. So today I have one mean, one LE, is that it? Did I just, did one, I, mean I, LE. one mean LE. Okay, that's, sorry. So one, I'll, I'll description down below. If you wanna see his car, it's awesome. He does all the head turner stuff down here in San Diego, it's greatness. But he's got his car set up on the rack and we are gonna put the dive planes on his car. So I'm gonna walk you right through it. Now some people, they call them dive planes. Other people call them canards. You call them canards, John will probably knock your teeth out. Let's just call them dive planes from now on. Uh, so, but you, people call them what they are. I believe GM does call them canards. I don't believe that's actually a proper Term, um, but yes, dive planes it is. That's what they're listed at at the ZL1 add on site. So if you want to check it out, again, these are linked down below. But let's get into the install. This install is very easy, anyone can do it. It requires a couple tools, a little bit of know how, and I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do this. Uh, so let's just get to it. What's in the kit? Before we do the install, I want to show you. So this is one side. So in the kit, you're gonna get two of these metal uh, brackets. You're gonna get a drill bit. Yes, you have to drill two holes. I'll show you exactly where those are at. The two screws, basically your drilling holes for here where these screws go. And then there's a bolt that's gonna bolt into this bracket. And uh, obviously on the other side, it's the same parts and pieces. And it's, it's just so easy. So let's, I keep saying it's easy, let's go install it. For this install, we fortunately have a beautiful four po or a, a lift. I was gonna call it a four post. This is not a four post. Uh, but if you have a jack, you'll jack it up, put it on a stand. If you need uh, jack pads or jack points, also check out ZL1 add-ons. But you'll need to remove your few bolts in here. Now, um, one mean LE's car has the front splitter extension with the fender extensions here. So some of the bolts and everything are kind of missing right here. They're already out. But you'll have a bolt up top. You'll have a bolt right here a bolt here and a, I believe it's a pop clip down here. You'll need to remove those because what we need to get to is this part right here. So this is basically what holds on your front. Um, do we actually, do we have a flashlight? So up in here, there's a little plastic housing. This housing has three bolts in it. Two of the bolts are holding it to the car. The other bolt, which is right where my finger is, holds this front bumper fascia to here. That's literally one of the only things holding this part to your car. Uh, and that's the bolt we're removing today to be able to slide in the bracket to hold the upper side of the dive plane. So you'll need to pull back the liner, which we have here. You'll pull this bolt out. I believe it's a seven millimeter. You'll pull that out and then we'll go to this next step, which I'll show you. John has crafted this bracket to be pretty intuitive. It slides right on in. So if you see right here, it gets right on in there. And the way that the design is set up is it has a nice sleek angle so it terminates really nicely so you're really not going to see it much at all and you want to make sure obviously that the hole lines up but you could tell this placement here it's in the right spot the bolt's going to go right on in so we'll go ahead and put that bolt in to fasten it so when i put this bolt in i like to get it started by hand just to make sure it's threaded properly 
Last thing you want to do is strip threads. But again, this bolt is just attaching to the GM setup that's already there. So you're not adding anything new outside of just this one metal bracket. And it's hard to see. Make sure that's nice and tight and we're good to go. So the next step is lining up the dive plane pro properly. So you have the upper bracket, which we just mounted. That's where this mounts nice and cleanly. The other point of mount is going to be your lower front grill. This is where the two holes that you're going to drill. They're right in on the bottom side. It's a clean install. You're not even going to notice it. And it's two little holes on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and grab the drill and we'll drill the two holes. So putting uh, the dive plane in place, you're going to want to make sure it lines up up here. It's nice and good. You want to make sure it's a nice tight fit. And once you have your tight fit, you'll take your drill. Now this drill bit does come with it, so you'll need a drill and you're just gonna go in and drill two holes. Easy as that. So the one thing I didn't touch on the dive plane, the, di the dive plane does have a block that's gonna be fastened on there already. It will have a piece of red tape. This is um, a prototype one but you can see the red tape here on the corner, so it's not stuck yet. Uh, but what you wanna do is get the angle just right. You can get in there, you can peel the red tape off, and then it will stick to the car. This is great adhesive. It's not gonna come off, um, and it's gonna hold it really nicely. Now the other side is, we will put the other bolt up in here. Now you may wonder, there will be a little bit of a gap on the dive plane, and the reason for that is you don't want this touching your paint because vibrations as wind hits this pocket, you will get downforce on the front of the car. And if it is touching the car, it's just gonna vibrate and it will scratch and rip your paint off. Uh, so this is designed to avoid that. Now, the other side is, is this piece up here, it is adjustable. So if you need to pull it out more, you can, you just have to loosen the back bolt, pull it out a little bit because it pivots on that one bolt. Uh, so you're good. The trick with the front of the dive plane is you want this angle straight. And if you have the stock SS grill, it actually lines up about with the second um, riblet or I don't know what they you call that grill piece. But just that top line here lines up just about perfect to make this perfectly straight. So uh, again, that red tape, there's a little corner on this piece. So I'm pretty sure I can grab it. It might take me a second here, maybe. No, no, my fat fingers. Got it, got it. Okay, so we'll line this up and stuck. Good, now one thing to caveat here, if this is a fresh car, you keep your car wax painted or anything, you want to clean the surface with alcohol. You wanna have a fresh surface because if you don't and there's wax or a sealant or something on that part right here, that's not gonna stick or it will stick for a second and then you're gonna wash it and you'll be like, oh, it popped off. Yeah, clean this surface like you would. Luckily, uh, this surface was already clean. We have a number one Phillips. We have a quarter inch nut on the back and that's what's gonna line that up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the screw started. Maybe. I'm just gonna hold it and then I can use this tool to tighten it. There you go, that is on. So, 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 okay. Dive plane installed. Now this was a guide to show you how to install it. It's literally a mirror on the other side. So I'm not gonna walk you through that cause that's just a waste of your time. But this is how it installs and it looks really clean. It's nice install. Look at that, that looks just so clean. There you have it. That is the install guide for the ZL1 add-ons, six gen Camaro dive plane. If you guys enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button. Tons more install guides, overviews, reviews, everything, all six gen Camaros and probably other stuff in the future. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Likes, comments, shares, appreciated. But until next time, and next product from ZL1 add-ons, and one mean LE, I'll see you on the road.
always talk. Oh, you didn't hear it. Yeah, I did. Oh, I thought you had No. You can adjust. I talked about that. Okay. I, talk, I talked about that. I talked about it, That's Dad. Good, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm going to start this off real quick. You guys okay if I tell? You know, it's like you got to psych yourself up. I'm like tired. I'm like, no, what I do, what I do wake is up, I take, I wake take, up. 